Okay, color gradient. We insert a new standard material, and let's bring some shapes to assign material to them. For example, Platonix 3D, and assign the texture to that to see what happened when we use gradient. If you double click on a standard material in a gradient in any texture part, we have gradient then color gradient like this you can add color gradient to your object if you want to <clears throat> bring it settings you have to click on a gradient and it is sitting we have <clears throat> basic that you can again change the blur of that more blur or you can use the shader for better seeing that i right click here and open a simple separate window to see better here i want to explain all of the settings if we changing the type of that first this is a gradient simple gradient you can change this uh, fall off gradient here from a color to another color if you open this uh, icon here you can access to a uh, lots of other settings here is a simple changing the position you can right click and invert gradient if you want double knots if you want or you can change the size to small medium you can change right click to changing the size uh, as you can see we have uh, a border a very specific border here that you can right click and distribute node to changing the smooth result you can change all of these handles here for deleting them you can simply delete and delete them to come back <clears throat> you can click on them click on one of them and you can see all of the settings will be open and you can click on them and change the color i, I like the view it's better okay we have a color to this color and interpolation it is smooth you can see this is a cubic it's all about the uh, shapes how this color go to the that color in the cubic way in, oops in cubic bias different shape linear it's going linearly here we can see the changes here or a step uh this is all about this for better understanding that it's better to select that just changing position <clears throat> holding control and click and drag or click and click to better seeing the transition between them select it and give another color to here <clears throat> delete that just click it to see better the, that transition select one of them you can make it linear as you can see we have a linear <clears throat> fall off for this node when we reach that node in or out of that node linear mode step mode it means we suddenly go to other color from blue suddenly to other color and with a blend mode here you can change the position not position not position here is a bias position this it means this position here if you click on them and you can change the brightness of that color if you want or choose directly color from here that you learned that's it so you can click to add or holding control to click and drag and copy that and then you can simply click and delete and delete them <clears throat> nice okay close that gradient color chooser and you can load the preset from the serum for the library or you can save it and use it again we have a different type here 2d we have lots of 2d in a u from here you can uh, if you choose one of them it all of the settings will be <coughs> active these are active when we choose a 3d and these are active when we add turbulence make the increase the number of the turbulence and you can see what is the turbulence octaves is for creating the um, details 
For octaves, you can change the details. For example, more detail or one, <coughs> less detail if you want. Right click to on one of them here to <coughs> reset it. You can change the scale of these details. Uh, frequency, in the frequency, we have an animation. You can right click and interesting. We have an animation. If you frequency to the zero, we don't have animation. It's actually to turn off the animation. Nice. For, for so frequencies for animation <clears throat> so you can change the seed means randomness of the positioning of your uh, and here you can change the angle with any angle that you want you can change the turbulence angle and if you make it zero just we can change the seed randomness for turbulence or change the angle any angle that you want you can so this is for 2d the cycle is actually a tile you can see better in the 3d i explain it now is it 2d u it's a 2d v in this in the, that direction 2d diagonal like this 2d radial the different shape of 2d circular box these are 2d okay 2d star to the four corner mm, interesting and let's talk about the 3d for 3d i give that to the 3d let's change to 3d linear as you can see it's uh it's uh, in a linear you cannot see different between 2d and 3d you can see in a 3d if you give this to for example 2d u as you can see we have not very well <clears throat> it's special for 2d but look at the 3d you cannot see gradient linear gradient so for doing that you have to give the 3d linear now you can see better this transition color co color in uh, surface of this 3d object <clears throat> so this is a cycle you can turn it off to not cycle it's cycling based on the object size so object size the space is very important here it's space in the object it means the this texture stack on the object surface of the object because you can see it's depend on um actually a spacing and the surface of the object but if you make a texture it depend on the texture sitting of this tag here that i explain later and if you turn it to the word it's stack on the board uh, if it's an object if you come here and rotate the object the texture will be rotate you can see the texture will be rotate with the object but if you make it the word we have a fixed texture at the board and you can you can see the red part is still here and the object is just rotating freely and then if you move it nice move in this direction you can see we have in a fixed rotation fixed texture in the board and we bring the object inside the gradient so you can use interesting effect with that and the camera it's stacked on the camera it's better to turn on the cycle you can see for 3d it's stacked and look at the camera or a screen or raster okay it's for raster it's better to make the object that it's stacked to object nice you can turn off the cy cycle if you want it's actually a tile uh, and that's it the cycle if you make it to the word we have always that texture it tiling 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 to overworld but if you turn off the cycle just we have a little texture generation in the world here and we don't have anything in this side is a red in that side is a green it's a, a start and the end of the gradient here if you cycle it will tile and tile and tile to the infinite and if you make 3d linear or 3d cylindrical or 3d spherical you can choose between them and here if you 2d linear you can change the start and end of your texture and in x y and z axis 
And that's it. This is an ingredient. It's very interesting and powerful.